St. Eusebius, Bishop of Vercelli, Martyr, 371, Vercelli, Italy. Eusebius was a Sardinian by birth, first a reader in the Roman Church, and then Bishop of Vercelli. It seemed specially designed by Providence that he should be called to govern that church, for the electors, who had never before known him, passed over, with a strange unanimity, all their own fellow citizens, and chose Eusebius, as soon as they had seen him. He was the first bishop in the Western Church who established an order of regular clergy, to combine the active with the contemplative life. At this time the storm of Arian blasphemy and sin was sweeping far and wide over the West, and Eusebius set himself to fight against it so manfully, that his unshaken faith brought back Liberius again to life and hope. This Pope, knowing that the Spirit of God was in him, sent him with his legates to the Emperor Constantius, in the year 354, to plead the cause of the Catholic faith. His earnestness prevailed with the prince, so that he obtained all that was asked for, and, among other things, permission for a council to be summoned. The year following, the council met at Milan, and Eusebius, by the invitation of the emperor, and the desire and command of the papal legates, attended. Here are the Arians, assembled in the perfect synagogue of Satan, and all furiously raging together against holy Athanasius, found Eusebius one of the stoutest enemies of their faction. As soon as he entered the council, he delivered a long harangue, wherein he remarked that, of those there gathered together, some were notoriously defiled with heresy, and therefore he proposed that everyone should first have all subscribed the Nicene Creed, before proceeding to any other business. The Arians, in a violent passion, refused, whereupon he on his part refused to subscribe any proceedings against Athanasius, and even skillfully procured the withdrawal of the signature of the holy martyr Denis, then Bishop of Milan, which they had lyingly procured by practising on his simplicity. The Arians were now entirely enraged, and, after many persecutions, procured a decree of banishment against Eusebius. The saint shook off the dust of his feet against them, and, defying alike the threats of Caesar and the drawn swords of the soldiery, accepted the sentence as one of the dignities of his office. He was sent to Bethshin in the Holy Land, suffering hunger, thirst, stripes, and all manner of violence, but for the faith's sake he despised this life and feared not death, but freely delivered his body to the tormentors. He wrote a solemn letter from Bethshin, addressed to the clergy and people of Vercelli and that neighborhood, full of constancy, devotion, and piety, describing the frightful cruelty and brazen impudence of the Arians. From this letter we know how completely they failed to scare him by their threats and their inhuman brutality, or to seduce him by their serpent-like cunning into receiving their communion. In consequence of his unshaken resolution, he was moved from Bethshin into Cappadocia, and then again, to the deserts of Upper Egypt. He suffered exile until the death of Constantius, in 361, after which he was allowed to return to his flock. First, however, he took care to attend the council at Alexandria, called to heal the wounds of the church, and, afterwards, like a skillful physician, he made a progress through all the provinces of the East, strengthening those that were weak in the faith, and confirming them in Christian doctrine. Then, with the same healthful results, he passed through Illyricum into Italy, who, at his coming, laid aside her garments of mourning. After his return, he published an expurgated edition of Origen's commentary on the Psalms, and likewise of the works of Eusebius of Caesarea, both which he translated from Greek into Latin. At length, distinguished by all these great works, he passed to that crown of glory which fadeth not away, promised to them who suffer for the truth. He departed this present life at Vercelli, in 371, in the reign of Valentinian and Valens. Amen.